Okay, this video is about the oil filter in the oil, uh, uh, off the oil tank. This is your, what we call a Firematic, which is just a brand name. This is a safety valve. We turn it like this, as we would any valve to open. And you'll notice this uh, stem goes up. It is spring-loaded. It's made out of a low temperature solder so that if the temperature gets above, I think it's about 600 degrees, this thing loosens and the spring closes the valve. So when we're using this, this will be in uh, between the tank and the filter. So it will be open when we see it. Now we will close it. And you're going to close this thing until this valve gets loose. Don't take the valve off, just let it get loose. Once it's loose, give it a light tap. That'll make sure that it seats closed. And when you've got it seated closed, then you can go ahead and do your filter maintenance. Okay, what we're going to look at today is the old general filter canister for the oil furnace. This is a fairly standard old uh, filter canister, been around for many years. Uh, it should be located right next to the oil tank if you have gravity feed oil. What happens with these things is people do not uh, service them uh, regularly, every year, and it kind of ends up looking like this one. Now this one here, you can kind of see, this is part of the oil filter here. And it's falling apart. There's a screen in the inside and you can't even get the screen out. It's just coming to pieces. And if we look at this, you'll see in order to get this out of here, I've got to actually take it out in chunks. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see the inside of that canister is not looking so good. We're going to go ahead and uh, clean this canister up and we're going to see if it's viable to reuse. Okay, now we're back with, uh, after a thorough cleaning of this uh, canister, and you can see it really wasn't successful. A lot of rust. A lot of hard sludge deposits in there. I would not reuse this. Uh, it's just trash at this point. Also looking at the uh, top of it, a lot of hard deposits I was not able to get off uh, without a lot more work. Uh, this one's pretty much uh, history as far as I can tell. However, I will demonstrate how you would uh, replace the filter in these. Here's your filter. It's a felt with a kind of a screen inside. To make another one that's uh, uh, kind of a centered plastic, and uh, either one of them seem to work okay. Anyway, it fits in there like that. A new gasket's placed in it. then the top is placed over it like that. Now the bolt, there's a new gasket for the bolt, all comes with the filter kit. And then it's tightened down tight. Now I've removed the bleeder here. And there's a new gasket that comes with the bleeder or for the bleeder and this one's got two it's got one on the in and one on the out you're never going to use this one no way uh, this one's the only one you care about so you will loosen it to where it's very loose but don't take it all the way out if you take it out 
uh, you're liable to get a bath of oil. These things do take quite a while to bleed, uh, and you end up wiggling a little uh, bleeder a bit and seeing bubbles come out. When you get a smooth flow of oil out of this, it's time to tighten the thing down. Uh, at that point, I would be uh, wiping down this entire canister, running my finger around here after I'd wiped it down, all around here, and any place, other place that I've opened. I'm looking for a little slick of oil on my finger. If I don't get the slick of oil, that doesn't mean we're out of the woods. Where this sits, it usually is close to the floor. I would take a clean piece of newspaper and lay it underneath this thing once I have cleaned it, replaced it, and bled it. Once I'm done with my service, I come back while I'm cleaning up and I pick up that newspaper and I run my fingers over this again. Now what we're doing here is we're looking to see if there's any oil leaks. Even a pretty small oil leak can be a pretty big mess if you're not careful. So make sure that you've got this thing completely leak free. 